Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna make this half face zombie or half face skull for you. It's easy to create with liquid latex, wax and a pro coloring bruise I have by Meron. It does take about an hour to create I guess, but that's because you need to refine all the edges of the wax and wait for the latex to dry. But it's a lot of fun to do and it has kind of a effective result. So uh, if you want to know how to create a makeup like this, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you are totally into Halloween and like Halloween makeup, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because in the next two months we will do a lot of Halloween here at our YouTube channel. To start making this half-faced zombie, I am working with Synwax I have by Meron and I just am making a roll of it. Well, I'm gonna put Prosade under it to make the wax hold better. So if you wanna go to a party and you want the makeup to stay on all evening when you use a wax, just put Spirit Gum or Prosade under it. And I'm of course gonna use Prosade because that is my favorite glue. And that is the basics. Now I'm gonna get petroleum jelly and uh, blend out the edges to make a clean edge with my skin that will stay normal and kind of try to make it rough in the bits that are inside of the half-faced zombie. Well, now the edge is kind of covered the way I want it to. I am gonna make the inside less nice and even. So I'm just gonna get it up a bit and get some texture in those edges. I am gonna set this with setting powder to get rid of the stickiness of the wax. Now it is powdered, I'm first gonna do the outside with just a normal foundation in a light color uh, to blend away the edge of the wax on the outside. And after that I'm gonna do the zombie part. I am taking a light color for this, so this is uh, foundation by Meryl number no. 2. And as you can see it's much lighter than my natural skin tone. And I'm powdering this with a powder foundation in the same color. already looks better. Um, I forgot my own makeup today so I'm just gonna do with what I have. Far from perfect but it will do. So I've got these fake nails, very cheap ones I have by Superstar and they are very good to make fake teeth with. I am changing for this to the cut and bump wax I have by Makeup. It's a very soft wax. And then I have something to put them on, so just cut them and stick them or I think is best. I've got quite large scissors, if you've got smaller ones please use those. Uh, 
Yes, and that are the teeth. I'm going to get liquid latex and tissue to cover up the edges and get those teeth really glued to my face. I'm gonna let the latex dry for a bit. I've got three layers in already and it does need to dry. So I'm gonna cover my eyebrow with prosate so I can put some latex with tissue over it. Uh, if you don't protect your eyebrow with wax or um, prosate or spirit gum, it will definitely remove your eyebrows when you put latex in it. So please don't forget, protect your eyebrows. Now the prosate on my eyebrow is dry and I checked all my eyebrow hairs are covered. I'm going to continue with the latex and um, then color this zombie. So I put some tissue and latex on a bit of my nose and I'm going to try to loosen it up a bit. The right side of the spatula of course. Now I have the Pro Coloring Bruise. And just a small brush. I'm going to use the light red color first to color kind of everything. That is inside of this. Now I have a black eyeshadow powder and I'm going to use it to get some real black in there because in the pro coloring bruise of course isn't really black it's purplish very dark blue color Well, and there the coloring is done. And although I called it my half-faced zombie at the beginning, I think it could also be a half-faced skull at this moment. I'm going to put in a black contact lens to finish the eye at least. And then I'm going to try to uh, hide my natural teeth with tooth effects and I think mouth stain. Um, but first let me put in a contact lens. Well, there is one of my uh, sclera lenses. I chose to put in a red with black one. And I think it fits this look very well. Now I've got two products left. First is the tooth stain black and the other is the mouth stain black. So this one will color my teeth and this one will color the inside of my mouth. And that is just to get rid of the white of my teeth and all the red you can see inside of my mouth. Um, I should probably have done this at the beginning of the video, but as I just thought of doing this, I'm gonna do it now. Um, probably the teeth will be in the way and probably it won't be as easy as um, it is without all the makeup already on, but well, let me try. So first I'm gonna dry my teeth and then just color them. Isn't nice to do, but it's quite effective. And when it's dry we can continue with the mouth stain so just shake it very well open it up and just get some drops of it in your mouth and black it is yes 
and that concludes our makeup for today i enjoyed making this immensely so it just takes some time to get all the wax blended and get the insides uh, just the way you want it with the latex um, but i hope you enjoyed the video of course if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel in the link below we will be back next week with a new halloween video and of course i hope to see you then bye bye